Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report. Last week in Gaza, there was a huge celebration there. Some say it's the largest that's ever been held in the Gaza Strip. And one of the main speakers at this um, huge celebration <clears throat> was Khalid Masha'al. Now, he is the political director for, uh, uh, for Hamas and supposedly for the Palestinian Authority. He wields a big, big stick. But this is the first time he has ever been in the Gaza Strip when he came this past week. And in his remarks, he said this, Palestine from the river to the sea. That's from Jordan to the Mediterranean. <clears throat> from north to south is our land. We will never give up one inch of any part of it. Palestine was, still is, and will always be an Arab and Islamic Palestine belongs to us and no one else. We can never recognize the legitimacy of the Israeli occupation of Palestine. Palestine belongs to us and not to the Zionists. Jihad and armed resistance are the right and real way to liberate Palestine and restore our rights. <clears throat> he added, uh, Masha'al added, liberating Palestine, all of Palestine, which means the elimination of the modern state of Israel and the annihilation of all the Jews that live there. Liberating Palestine, all of Palestine, is the duty, right, and goal of all Arabs and Muslims. Now, <clears throat> the Prime Minister responded to this by uh, referring to what uh, Masha Ahal said to a reporter. Mashal's fiery start statement stand in sharp contrast to a recent interview he gave to CNN's Christiane Amanpour, where he said that Hamas accepts the Palestinian state within the pre-1967 borders. He doesn't accept a, a Pal a, a, an Israeli state or a Palestinian state living together. It is beyond me uh, what it is that our leaders don't understand when the Palestinians say, <clears throat> we don't want a two-state solution, uh, we don't want to live in peace with Israel, we want Israel destroyed, and we want the Jewish people annihilated. That's what they want. And they've said this time and time and time again. What is it that our, our leaders don't understand when the Palestinians have been so clear about this? Uh, <clears throat> I think that's very significant that we just refuse to recognize this. And as a result, our leaders uh, continue to pursue obsessively this fantasy of a two-state solution. It's never going to happen. It will not happen. Let me tell you what's going to happen, according to what God says. He says in <clears throat> Jeremiah 32, verse 40, he says, I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good to them. I will inspire them to fear me so that they'll never turn away from me. I will rejoice in doing them good. And I will most assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and soul. The heart and soul of God is behind planting Israel in that land. Now, do you want to be in sync with the heart and soul of God? Then stand with Israel and support the Jewish people. Till next week, Od Kiyavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.